らっしゃいませお客様にいらっしゃいませウォーカムエブリワンとのファイナルエピソードのカバレー・クラブ・ザーそのあとビーディング・マスター・マイン・ド・クラブ・ムーン、if you choose to do so, this section here is training with Mana. Now, Mana, normally people would ignore her and just train her naturally because, after all, they just got finished beating Cabaret Club Czar, or they could just pursue Mana's training because she does have a side quest, and more importantly, completing that side quest will add a video to Gandara, and more importantly, You will also get CP, and if you haven't already done so, you would complete Mr. Libido. With everything that I said, bear in mind that Mana, despite loving everything she does about her job, she is very oblivious and clueless to love. In fact, she doesn't know what love is. The moment she feels like she's in love, she thinks that she's getting a heart attack. Yes, that's how clueless she is. Also, she can be a sadist. An absolute sadist that can ask random questions and cause Majima to, well, be embarrassed with a smile on her face. Oh, and also, she talks about the economy and, uh, um, one of the Questions literally is no, actually, one of the answers literally is will crash. Another reason I said that Majima caused the inflation because he's the one who caused that. That was again a side quest. So, with that said, just like before, if you want to pause and look at the answers, by all means, that's why I did what I did. Just so I can cut to the chase, get to the multiple choice answers, select the right one, and have it to where you will be able to breeze through this no problem. Though you'll be going through cutscenes, unlike me, who actually went through the cutscenes and recorded the answers. So that just makes things a little bit easier on you. And bear in mind this Mana has three sessions first, then a date, then another session. Then another date, then the final date. And then the final session, yes. Thankfully, this will be the last time you will ever have to do any more training with、uh, hostesses for the remainder of this game. Also, I just want to point out something. This will be the last time as Majima you're going to be playing Count Up, and more importantly, the last time as Majima as you're going to be going disco dancing. Because I've already beaten a side quest that is entangled with the disco dancing. Unfortunately,、um, I'm not going to be able to beat that with Kiryu. Nope. No, sorry. The Isobe fan is not worth it. Just letting you know. Again, for those of you who have not played Count Up, Count Up is literally throwing a dart, and your total for each round starts to add up. And just like with Hibiki, in order for you to win this, it's best to go for either a hat trick for the、uh, bullseye or a high ton. That is your only way to win. High tons are very hard to get with the.、Uh, Regular darts. Master darts, you could get them no problem. Problem it. Oh, that was freaking close. That was really close, and she's gotten more than. Oh, she managed to get a double 20. Oh, a triple 20. See what I told you about the computer actually trying to go for high tons? That's what they're going to do. That's how they do things. All right, triple bullseye, come on. Triple bullseye. Booyah! 
that just made things a hell of a lot easier for me. All I need her to do is just screw up and I win this. Oh. No! Oh, sweet Jesus! If she would have hit three of those, I would have lost. Automatically. I'm losing now! Alright. We just gotta turn the tide on her. Bullseye? Uh... Why am I going for a triple for a triple twenty? Just go for a bullseye, you fool! Go for a bullseye! Aw, oh, damn it! Well, hopefully I win. Come on. Okay, fine, Loton. I'll take that. Hopefully, I'll win this one. Hopefully she screws up. 20. 20. Oh, she screwed up. She screwed up and lost by 8. Wow. That is sad. But hey, look on the bright side. At least I won. Thankfully that'll be the last time I'll be playing count up against a person and it's being mandatory now it's not really mandatory to play count up although bear in mind you're gonna be dealing with a person who's gonna constantly feed you drinks anyway now we're on to the fourth session that's when things get really personal <clears throat> and more importantly you just gotta be nicer towards her be for for basically her dedication, because she feels that being a hostess not only takes dedication, but it practically helps girls improve themselves. Now, we've got the last date, and this is disco dancing. And we just gotta do better than Mana, and that's the only way we can actually gain either a good, or greater, or perfect. If you want a perfect, go for a 3-star, but just do better than Mana, because otherwise, even if you do get a 3-star, if Mana beats you, the date will be bad, and you'll have to start all over again. Oh god, I got the hiccups. But thankfully, the dance session didn't go so bad, and I won. So now, we can move on to the final session. Oh, by the way, during this... Mana ended up calling out sick a couple of times, so that's why it took me so long to do this. So, with that said, we basically are going to finish off the last of her session. And all you need to do is just again, follow along. And again, Mana will be, uh, how should I put it, completely dense about love to the point where there's just there's just no reason for her to be that dense look on the bright side at least she didn't have a spell put on her that makes her oblivious to love and sex or anything else like that one chick from that uh, anime Peter Grill otherwise she's just naturally dense well she'll eventually get over it eventually but now it's time to go to the final side quest involving cabaret club czar we've come a long way folks and for those who stuck with me i thank you very much for those who didn't you're missing out there's a whole playlist start from the beginning and work your way all the way to the back end i think uh, i meant to say start from the beginning and work your way to the final episode yeah, I know uh, the tenth episode's a beefer, but at the in at the exact same time, I made this as well in depth as I can. And with that said, I should warn you: the bring 
incomparable Habu drinks if you have them available, or just bring some healing drinks, and more importantly, if you have any money left, use that to up Majima's skills, because this last side quest is in fact a battle. So there's no multiple choices, you're just gonna end up running into battle because you're going to, well, try to get Mana some water because she's having those chest pains again. And as soon as you do, well, unfortunately, she gets hit on by a bunch of low lives. And these guys are the worst. These are complete and despicable low lives. So much so, they're literally labeled misogynist, misogynist loot. Ugh. Okay, misogynist youth. That's what they're labeled. Oh. And this one's called a misogynist prick. <laughs> so misogynist youth and misogynist prick is going to try to hit up on Mana and... They'll just keep doing that until Majima, sh Majima shows up. You're in no control of this. Until that is, we get to the battle. Then that's when you're going to be in control so you can whip the ass. But yeah, these goobers are just going to keep trying to head on uh, Mana until finally something happens. But these guys... They just called her all sorts of names, like Hostess Slut and everything of that nature. This, they just make you want to punch them and beat them half to death. Or, since we're on a bridge, drop at least one of them over a bridge! Oh, and he called her a whore! If there's anybody that's gonna get the hell beat out of him, it's that one. So, with that said... Let's get ready to rumble! And, oh hell no! They also want the tag to- oh hell no, let's beat them up! Show them some respect! But here's the thing, misogynist prick and misogynist uh, youth, they, how should I put this, do not have that big of a health bar. So they're not really advanced thugs, so you'll be just fine. If you did this way, like, late, like, after you just got finished unlocking all of the, uh, abilities, this should be fine. And in, in, in fact, if you spent a lot of money trying to get some abilities, you'll be just fine. I did that, by the way, which is why I only have 9 million out, and I used to have 12 billion. I now only have 9, but it's okay. We're gonna win this. Well, I can't pick him up, so I'll just flatten this trachea. Not good enough. But I sent one of them over the bridge, and that's all that matters. Yeah, you better run. Y'all better run, and uh, y'all better not come back. So, with that said, Mana will pretty much be done. And also, after this side quest, Mana's video is going to be available. In fact, if you've already completed the side quest with each and every hostess, their videos should be available. Every single one of them. And now that I stop and think about it, there are some girls whose videos are available if you happen to meet them as well. And not to mention the friendships. Um, well, the friendships with certain girls, they'll and their videos are going to be there. And I think there's also a few uh, videos uh, that are available after a certain side quest. Like, for instance, that one girl that we had to save from the fake yellow turbans, she had a video too. So, yeah. 
go on ahead and watch those videos as they appear. Because after you do, you're going to get some uh, completion points from doing so. So, with that said, Mana has shown her sadistic side because she was trying to say that she was in love with Majima, but she wanted to keep it a secret because she was just, you know, being childish. But with that said, this side quest is done. That means only one thing. There's only literally two more side quests for Majima left. I'm not kidding. There's only two. And we can't get to that one until we get to chapter 10. But we can get to the other one in the next episode of Yakuza 0 because we're going to be going back to the main playthrough in part 69. This is Arfaman985. Thank you for sticking with me in the Cabaret Club Czar. Peace out and take care.